So, I've shown you the five best hair greases to use on your hair. Now we're gonna try and get this hair grease out. Today, the five best shampoos to remove hair grease. But hold on, ranked from worse to best. Okay, you might be thinking, why am I showing you shampoos that are worse to best? Now, they're not necessarily worse in themselves as a whole, but out of the list, they're the worst to the best. So I'm gonna be doing an account down style that I did in the hair grease video, starting with number five, and this is a very ironic one. It's the Dax Vegetable Oil Shampoo. How did this make it to be the worst one on the list? Well, I'm about to explain. So, I bought the Dax Vegetable Oil Shampoo with the notion that it removes hair grease, so it says. Well, that wasn't necessarily my experience. Overall, it wasn't a bad shampoo. However, I had to lava about two to three times to make sure my hair felt perfectly clean. Was it in my head? No pun intended. But it contained vegetable oil. So oil, removing an oil, maybe in my mind, yeah, it wasn't really doing the job. But no, 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 no. It wasn't just in my mind because it didn't do the job. I had to lava about three times, as I said. Now the lavering properties in this shampoo are not the best but it does clean your hair. But for it being a Dax shampoo, a Dax product to remove Dax, I was disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. But let me not be so harsh on my Dax. <laughs> Let's just go and see what this contains. So I'll just read you what it says. The Dax vegetable oil shampoo has a gentle formula, ideal for build up removal. The shampoo thoroughly cleanses and conditions your hair and scalp. Its rich lava effectively removes oils, pomades, sheen sprays and hair dressings without stripping down your hair color. If you love your hair looking and feeling manageable, soft and clean and beautiful, this shampoo is for you. Now personally, I have to disagree. I do not feel it has a rich lava at all. I mean, some of you, if you have tried this, you may have a different experience to mine, but with my hair personally, there was no rich lava. It wasn't really to my expectations. It removes oils again and pomades. Mm. I would have to say, and it might be my hair type, I do have low porosity hair, so it does take a while for a product to work its way into my hair. Products that contain petroleum or mineral oil, I don't necessarily think this is the best shampoo. Overall, I mean, it did leave my hair feeling soft, but I still felt like there was a coating on my hair. Also, this contains sulfates. Um, a sulfate does help for the shampoo to lava, but it just didn't do anything. Just like the shampoo, I don't want to be too harsh. So let's move on to number four. Number four is Tresemme. Now this isn't any random Tresemme, this is a specific one, which is the Tresemme Deep Cleansing Shampoo. Now this is a clarifying shampoo. It works wonders in my hair. I used to use the moisturizing shampoo. The lava on both of these shampoos are excellent. I mean, if you are looking for moisture, which we do need to retain in our hair, especially if your hair gets dry, or especially if you've had it sealed in with hair grease, a moisture shampoo would be good. But I like to go with this clarifying shampoo, especially like times like now, where I feel I do have a lot of build up on my hair, I will use a clarifying shampoo. So let's just talk about the Tresemme, shall we? So it says, Tresemme Replenish and Cleanse Shampoo is designed to deeply cleanse and purify hair, removing build up and heavy residue. It says, enriched with vitamin C, this cleansing shampoo for greasy hair revitalizes from within to add healthy body and gleam. This professional quality shampoo gives your hair a fresh feel and it just left the salon feeling. Can I agree? Can I disagree? I don't know. I haven't been to the salon in years. So this does contain sulfates, guys, so just be aware. This one is number four because there are others that clean my hair better than this one. I love the lava in this one. I love the smell in this one. It's like a sweet, fresh fragrance, and it does leave my hair feeling fresh and clean, but a little bit stripped. That's why I said it's between this one and the Tresemme Deep Moisture Shampoo. Where I say it makes my hair feel stripped, I feel like I then need to plonk loads and loads of conditioner on my hair afterwards because it feels too squeaky clean. Squeaky clean in the sense that it feels like it's gonna snap and it does feel slightly brittle not gonna lie but it feels clean and I usually lava one to two times I think to be honest for this shampoo in particular once would be sufficient if you do want to make sure your hair is just cleaned to the extreme then maybe twice but I don't think any more than that I think one or two should suffice so with that being said let's move on to number three 
Okay, so number three, this is the first ever shampoo I used when I started my natural hair journey. And I tried it on my hair and I loved it. And I still love it to this day. The only con about it is I can't find a big bottle. So it doesn't last very long in my household. It is the Hello Hydration from Herbal Essence. It's got beautiful coconutty smell, if that's what you're into. And the thickness of it is very rich. It lovers lovely. I literally just use one rinse on my hair, just lather it up and I can detangle with it. The slip is amazing and it puts that moisture into my hair. So it doesn't make my hair feel like it's being stripped. My hair feels moisturized and my curls bounce. The residue's gone and my hair feels light and fluffy. So let me just read what this one says. Give dry hair the sensational, sensational treatment it deserves with Herbal Essence Hello Hydration Shampoo. The coconut extract that gives your hair a real pina colada fragrance. Yeah, there you go. This moisturizer shampoo gives dry locks the hydration they deserve and leaves them smelling as good as they feel. This one does contains sulfate and silicones, but my hair loves silicones. Sulfate, funny enough, I'm actually allergic to. If I leave sulfate on my skin or my scalp for too long, I start to become quite itchy. Again, I do try and avoid shampoos that have sulfates in them. I haven't had any adverse effects with this particular one. I love the way I can detangle my hair with it. As I said, the slip amazing. I usually like to detangle with my shampoos anyway because if I've got residue on my hair and build up I like to feel that I'm combing it away so combing it out as well as detangling my hair. So this one is number three on the list because I only need to lather once. It leaves my hair feeling juicy and moisturized and soft and the fragrance is lovely. So let's move on to number two. Okay, so number two and number one. These ones are closest on the list to the best because they don't contain sulfates, parabens, mineral oils, all, all the above, all the, the yucky stuff. This is my go-to, my go-to, go-to shampoo and it is specifically for detangling. It's got moisturizing properties in it, it's got detangling properties in it and it removes residue and build up and dirt. And that is the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Shampoo. Now, I love the smell of this line. Some of the other lines I'm not too fond of. I can't really describe it, you'd have to smell it and I think it's a love-hate type of smell. Some people say they like it, some people just can't stand it but I love this one. I love the texture of it. it kind of reminds me of the herbal essence so it's got that rich thickness to it a little goes a long way you don't need a lot at all guys I can use about maybe a palmful for my whole head and it is a detangling shampoo as I said so you can detangle with it that's what it's specified for you only need to use it once so let me go on to read what it says infused with certified natural argan oil from Morocco no sulfates no petrolatum no mineral oil no drying alcohol it removes hair grease impeccably even though it doesn't have all those things in it. This sulfate-free formula nourishes, hydrates, and adds exotic shine while gently cleansing and detangling. Now, I don't know what exotic shine is, what the clarification is. I guess it's all relative because certain hair has a certain type of sheen to it. There's another word, luster, there you go. Now this does bring out the shine in my hair, I must say. Once my hair is rinsed from the shampoo, I've shown it in other videos guys, and I will link them down below in the description box from this shampoo. My hair is juicy, it is shiny. I guess an exotic shine. It removes the hair grease, it cleans my scalp thoroughly, and my hair just feels fresh. So this is why this one is number two. Now before we move on to number one, I have got new merch guys, right here. So if you want to support your girl and help your girl out, it helps me to help you to make these videos. Thank you guys. All right, so let's get back to this video. So moving on to number one. First place, this is an unusual one for me because I avoided it and it is Maui, the Maui Moisture. I was pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting for it to do to my hair what it did. And what it did was cleaned it good. When I have hair grease on my hair, it cleans it impeccably. Yes, it does. 
but be warned. If you're not necessarily using hair grease on your hair and you've got like maybe oils or gels and you use a shampoo, it can strip your hair. It left my hair feeling stripped. So I've tried it with a wash and go where I just had a leave-in conditioner and gel in my hair and I've used a shampoo. It left my hair feeling a little too squeaky clean, a little bit stripped. So then I thought if I have a thicker product on my hair such as hair grease and I try and use this product, this shampoo, what will happen? So I tested it. It cleaned my hair, got rid of the shampoo, my hair felt moisturized, it didn't feel stripped, and it was perfect. Maui Moisture starts with a unique blend with aloe vera juice and it's infused with pure coconut water. The results, moisturized strands, mended split ends, and a healthy glow with every use. For thick curly hair, Hydrate, smooth, defrizz, sulfate-free surfactants. Let me just go back because there's some things I have to disagree with. It says moisturized strands and men's split ends. Moisturized strands, yes, but again, it's subjective, as I said. It depends what product you have on your hair because it could leave your hair feeling moisturized if you've got hair grease on your hair. It could leave your hair feeling stripped if you don't have hair grease on your hair. That's just my personal opinion. Secondly, men's split ends. This irks me when I see products say this. In my personal opinion, you can't mend split ends. You have to get rid of them because they will start to creep up the rest of the strand, make the rest of the strand weaker. You just have to eliminate them, cut them, and then you wash it with this, seal it with some hair grease <laughs> on a serious note personally i haven't come across any products that can mend split ends and even if i did i'm a bit skeptical so i just like to get rid of them and start on a fresh slate you know what i mean okay it says defrizz again with that i'm not too sure when i didn't have hair grease on my hair and i used this product just to wash out gel it made my hair frizzy it made my hair undefined it made my hair a bit a bit wiry let's say but with that being said when i washed out the hair grease it made my hair curly, made my hair moisturized, made my hair defined. So why would this be number one? Because as I said guys, it's an alternative to the cream of nature one because they both have no sulfates, no parabens, because it feels like it's specifically made to get rid of hair grease. And I'd say just a little tad more than the cream of nature, just a tad. With that being said, if you do want to see the five top hair greases you need to try, Click this video now.